Let's edit the transcript in Sonics. Just click on the file and you will be taken to the transcript. It looks a lot like a word processor, like Microsoft Word. The big difference with Sonic's transcripts though is that the audio is stitched to the text. So if I click anywhere in the transcript, you can hear the voice behind the words that are spoken. Quickly search for specific words. Want to play the audio from a specific word? Just click on the word. This makes it super easy to modify your transcript and correct and edit any errors. There are tons of features around editing, but in this tutorial, I'm only gonna show six key things. Create a speaker, find and replace, highlighting and strike through, realign time codes, preferences, and shortcut keys. Creating a speaker. If you have files with multiple speakers, you'll likely run into issues where we don't always separate speakers perfectly. But not to worry, you can easily create a new speaker by clicking anywhere in the text. Say this is a new speaker. Just click here and press enter. Then click the down arrow and enter new speaker and type in a name. In my case, this video is me, so I'm putting my name in. <laughs> this is so meta. You can also autofill speakers from the speakers dropdown right up here. By clicking label remaining, my name will be autofilled as the speaker for the entire transcript. Find and replace. Find and replace does exactly what you would expect it to. You can find it under the edit dropdown right here, or you can simply click this icon. Enter the word you want to replace and the word that you want to replace it with. Click replace all and you'll see a notification with how many times that word was changed. Highlighting and strike through. Highlighting and strike through are two features that are mostly used to prepare your file or sections of your file for export. To highlight a word, sentence, or paragraph, simply click on the word and hold and drag until you've captured the section you want. This bar appears above your selection. Click the paintbrush to highlight it. You can see that it turns yellow and it also shows the timestamps at the start and the end. The highlight also appears in the progress bar at the top, right up here, so you can easily navigate back to it. Strike through works much the same way. Just select the text that you want to strike and then select the strike through icon. The text is struck in red and the timestamps are also highlighted as well. It also shows up in the progress bar right up here on top in red. Realign time codes. After a lot of editing, your timestamps may not be aligned properly. The realign time codes feature allows you to realign the text with the timestamps and it works great. You just go down to time code, select realign time codes, and select this button right here. Just as a heads up though, there is an additional cost to use this feature. Preferences. In the lower left-hand corner, there's a button to customize your preferences. One of my favorite features is auto pause. With auto pause, the audio and video will automatically pause anytime you start typing or editing a word. And when you stop typing, the playback will resume automatically. Super seamless. Next to preferences are shortcut keys. If you click the shortcuts menu, it shows you all the shortcut keys that can help speed up editing. One great shortcut key is tab. Tab allows you to stop and start the audio while you're editing. Very handy. Music